Yes, ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? It's TL Talks Football. We're back again with a uh, great video. Today, on this beautiful day, I'm going to be asking you guys a question. How do you rate Mikel Arteta's signings, all of his signings, since he's joined Arsenal? How many flops, how many hits, and how many do you have the jury still out for? Let me know in the chat. So first, thing, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go window by window and I'm going to name each player and I'm going to go through it and I'm going to tell you guys what I if I give them a pass or if I give them a fail. And I'm going to uh, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm actually going to go goalkeeper first, then I'm going to go defense, then I'm going to go midfield and then I'm going to go attackers. So before we go any further, make sure you do hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. And also don't forget to check out today's channel sponsor. Today's channel, uh, today's video is sponsored by none other than SofaScore. The link is in the description to download the app today. It is a free app, the best app to watch football. So let's get this show started. Yes, 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 people. So we're back. Uh, we're back. That was a quick little intro. So the first, the first person we're going to talk about on today's video is none other than Matt Ryan. That was the first signing that Arsenal made. It was a loan, and we really shouldn't spend too much time on this because this was a loan. You can't even really give it a good rating or or anything. Uh, it was a loan, so I'm not going to say it was a flop or anything like that. I'm just merely not going to give him a good. I'm not going to give him a rating at all. The next person is none other than Runnerson. Runnerson, definition of a flop, in my opinion. We signed him for cheap, couldn't really make a profit on him. And to me, this one is definitely a thumbs down. I don't know about you guys, but when we signed Runnerson, I didn't really know too much about him. I didn't have too much high hopes. And when he did end up coming in, did not look that good. So Runnerson gets a big no-no for me. Then you have none other than Aaron Ramsdale. Aaron Ramsdale became one of the main goalkeepers for our team. He was outstanding for us last season. Everybody, everybody enjoyed Aaron Ramsdale last season. But Mikel Arteta, Mikel Arteta has replaced him in less than a year. But I think Aaron Ramsdale has been a good signing. I would give Aaron Ramsdale a thumbs up. Let me know what you guys think. I think Aaron Ramsdale has been a hit. But Mikel Arteta wants to sell him. So, hey, what are you going to do? The manager chose to sell him. The next, the next person is none other than Matt Turner. Here's where we, we start to get controversial, people. Was Matt Turner a flop, a hit, or jury? Oh, shit. Who's that? One second. Matt Turner. So, yeah, Matt Turner. I think Matt Turner was, 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 not, was a hit simply because we sold him and made a profit. And now he's at Nottingham Forest, uh, and he made us some decent money. So the fact that we sold him for a profit... I would say Matt Turner was actually a hit, but let me know what you guys think. So I give a thumbs up to Matt Turner. Um, the next person, the jury is still out on them. The next person is actually David Rea. David Rea, the jury is still out on. We don't know what we're thinking with David Rea, but all we know is he's now the starter and Ramza seems to be replaced. We want, He wanted him to begin with in the first place, so he ended up getting his guy. So I'm going to give David Rea a thumbs up. And don't think I'm giving everybody a thumbs up because we're about to go into defense. And in defense, there are some there are some flops, they, to say the least. There are definitely some flops, to say the least. First being Pablo Mari. <laughs> One of Arteta's first signings, Pablo Mari, joined Arsenal in the summer from Flamingo for £6 million. And a lot of people had high hopes for him. But to say the least, he absolutely flopped. And some people think he would do better in today's football, uh, today's Arsenal team. But that's only because in today's Arsenal team, no one's really going to look that bad. But this was definitely a thumbs down signing. The next one, he's currently still at the club and he just doesn't want to leave. Another than the man, Cedric. Cedric was definitely a flop in my opinion. I think Cedric was a massive flop for Arsenal Football Club and definitely goes thumbs down. Luckily, we didn't spend too much money on him. We got him on loan at first and then we ended up purchasing and then we ended up signing him on a permanent, if I'm not mistaken, uh, after that. So he was basically a free transfer. We didn't pay a penny to get Cedric. And you know what? When you, when you don't spend the money, 
you get you get, you get you get what you get paid for. That's really truly what it is. Um, I think this next person is one of Arteta's best ever signings. Gabriel Magalhães, 26 years old, the defender came from Lille, and when he signed for what was at the time 26 million euros, it was an amazing deal, and he has been an absolute hit. One of Mikel Arteta's greatest signings. Let me know what do you think. Who do you think is Mikel Arteta's best signing? The next one is Ben White. When we signed Ben White, everyone said this is too much money. We're spending 50 million pounds on a guy who's relatively unknown. People thought it was ridiculous, but he's come in and he's been great. I got to give it to Arteta. His scouting of Ben White, nobody really seen this coming, but thumbs up for him. Um, the next one, 18 million pounds. People kind of surprised. I was shocked when we signed when we signed this guy for 18 million pounds, Tomiyasu. The reason why we got him for so cheap was because he had an injury history. And Tomiyasu has been injured a lot at his time at Arsenal, but I got to give it to him. He's been a thumbs up also. Takaru Tomiyasu has been a great signing for Mikel Arteta's Arsenal. And nobody can, can question how good of a signing he has been. So I'm just going to say Takaru Tomiyasu, big thumbs up for me. The next one. Nuno Tavaj, and we're not going to be looking at him kissing dogs, the, the dog shagger himself. Um, he's been a big flop, to say the least, and I don't even know if we're going to make a profit off him. So Nuno Tavaj, big flop, no question about it. Austin Trusty, luckily we made a profit on Austin Trusty and we sold him right away. I, I think Austin Trusty was a good piece of money laundering from Arsenal, <laughs> and and you got to give it, you got to give them to them. They they quickly flipped the asset and made some profit. So based on that alone, I'm going to give them. I'm going to say it was a good signing. Zinchenko. Zinchenko has been a lever raiser for us last season and definitely was a good signing. I don't know about you guys, but Mikel Arteta seems to be making a lot of good signings in his time at Arsenal, but people want to criticize Mikel Arteta and say he's been terrible at making signings. Next, we have KBR. KBR, the jury is still out on him. He could turn out to be a bad signing. He could turn out to be a great signing. But at this moment in time, it's still too early to tell if he's a good or bad signing. Jury's still out on him. But as at this moment in time, I'll give him a thumbs up. Um, next, we go to Timber. We go to Timber, and this is the last... Oh, Timber Arsenal, not, not Wood. <laughs> Timber for Arsenal. There you go. Timber is probably the jury's still out on him. He's definitely too good to flop. So once he plays, I don't doubt in one second that he's going to be absolutely balling. But he has not worked out yet because he's been injured. But once he does get going, he's going to be balling. I'm telling you guys. Next, we got to go to Mr. Thomas Partey. Thomas Partey, he has not flopped. He has not flopped. He has done well. It's just unfortunately he's been injured a lot. He hasn't lived up to the expectation with the fact that he's consistently been injured. But when he has played, he's been one of our best players. So to say Thomas Partey has been good is not a is not a surprise. The next person, I think this is one of Mikel Arteta's greatest signings also. Martin Odegaard. For as cheap as we got Martin Odegaard, it seemed. And this was a guy that Real Madrid did not want any intentions of selling. We got him for 35 million euros. What a deal. From Martin Odegaard. Shout out to uh, Real Madrid for giving to uh, giving us our captain for so cheap. Martin Odegaard, great deal. No way he you can call him a flop. Um, the next person, when he signed, we people were giving him shouts of uh, talk talking about how he's the Yaya Torre. What guys, Lokonga? To me, Lokonga. The jury might still be out on him, but I'm calling him a flop. I don't think it's too early to call him a flop. I don't think what he's doing at Luton Town will translate at Arsenal, and I think we're going to need to sell him as soon as possible. But let me know what you guys think. Would you rate Lokonga a, a flop, or would you rate a, a flop, or would you rate him jury still out? Let me know because he's definitely not a hit. He's definitely not a hit. That is a fact. And Martin Odegaard, Thomas Partey, those kind of signings, they're hit him. Nah, not even close. Um, the next one, the next one, also a similar situation. Would you consider Fabio Vieira a flop? But to me, Fabio Vieira can be considered a flop, but also can be considered jury still out on him because he started the season quite well. He just, at this moment in time, I don't know if he needs a loan or if he just needs more confidence or he just needs a good run of games or an opportunity to actually be fit and play because he has not shown enough to warrant the value of money that we spent on him last year. Guys, we bought Fabio Vieira for 35 million pounds. That's the same money that we pretty much bought Martin Odegaard for, but nowhere near the level of output. So uh, jury's still out on him. The next guy, 
I think this guy slept on, and he's definitely been a hit for me, Jorginho. Jorginho, since he's coming to Arsenal, he, des he deserves much more respect, and he's not been like the Chelsea rejects that we've signed in the past. He's been much better. Talking about former Chelsea, this man we just spent money on in the summer, he has been a revelation. Declan Rice has been hand on heart, one of the best signings Mikel Arteta has made, but also has been one of the most expensive signings in the club's history. So, of course, he had to deliver, and he has. In, in the short time period. So definitely a thumbs up for him. Next, we got Kai Havertz. Kai Havertz, jury's still out on him. Some people will call him a flop already. Some people would say he's been okay. To me, jury's still out on him. I, I say thumbs up, but jury is still out on him. No question about it. There, there's a lot to be said, but we, we can't go too far with him. The next one, 100% flop. Flop so bad that we had to have him remove his own contract. William. William, definition of flop at Arsenal Football Club. I'm happy that he ripped up his contract and left. Thank God we've seen the back of him. One of the biggest flops we've had. And this next guy, he is the current flop from last summer that we bought, Marquinhos. Marquinhos has been a massive flop. I don't know why we even spent money on him. We should have just let him go to Wolves. He's absolute dog shit, uh, in my opinion. So poor guy, Let him. Uh, he never got an opportunity to... to to play at a smaller club, maybe he could develop a little bit better. But at Arsenal, no. Next, we got Trussard. Big up Trussard, one of the best January signings of Arsenal's football club's history. So bet definitely a thumbs up for him. And then the final person who the final person is none other than Gabriel. Oh, Gabriel Jesus. Gabriel Jesus, in my opinion, he's a thumbs up because he's a good squad player, he's a good player overall. I just feel like He's not the striker that we need, so we're going to need to go sign another player. But hey, so that is my list overall. And just to, just to give you guys the final list to show you guys what my what I, what I rated everybody so you guys can see it again, here it is. So the goalkeepers, these are the ratings that I gave them. Defenders, Pablo Mari, that thumbs down, thumbs down. Gabriel, thumbs up. Tamiyasu, Ben White, Shuvaris, thumbs down. Trust, trusty, up. Kavior, up. Timber, no rating yet. Parte, Odegaard, up. Uh, uh, Laconga down, Vieira up, Jorginho, Rice, Havertz all up, and then William down, Jesus up, Trussard up, and Marquinhos down. So those are all my ratings for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. It was nice, quick, short, concise. But let me know if you disagree with anything that I've said in today's video. And if you watch up until this point of the video, let me know who is your signing, the, the best signing that Mikel Arteta has made under his stewardship. To me, it's Gabriel Magalhães. But yeah, that's it for today. Have yourselves a wonderful day and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Love for the love, people.